Hello guys, how are you all? Welcome to my channel, Cracking IELTS 9.0. Today I will be discussing Cambridge 14 Test 1 Reading Passage 2 of the Academic Reading Module. As you can see, the heading says, The Growth of Bike Sharing Schemes Around the World. Okay, so let's look at the set of questions now. The first set of questions that we have are match the information, right? And the second set of questions that we have are choosing two options from five options. That is nothing but the multiple choice. And in the last section, we have Phillips with only one word to answer. Okay, so let's not waste any time and dive into the first question now. So these are match the information questions. So as you know, our approach would be the same. That is, we will be reading the paragraphs A to G one by one and we will try to match whether any sentence is agreeing with the passage or not. Okay, so this is the best approach to save a lot of time. So let's move to the paragraph A now. The original idea for an urban bike sharing scheme dates back to a summer's day in Amsterdam in 1965. Provo, the organization that came up with the idea, was a group of Dutch activists who wanted to change society. They believed the scheme, which was known as the Witte Fitzen Plan, was an answer to the perceived threats of air pollution and consumerism. In the center of Amsterdam, they painted a small number of used bikes white. They also distributed leaflets describing the dangers of cars and inviting people to use the white bikes. The bikes were then left unlocked at various locations around the city to be used by anyone in need of transport. Okay, so this is what is the first paragraph. Now, let's try to match whether any sentence matches here or not so the first one a description of how people misused a bike sharing screen no we didn't read about any misuse here so 14 cannot be the answer an explanation of why a proposed bike sharing scheme was turned down no we didn't read anything about a bike sharing scheme that is turned down or rejected right so let's move to the next one. A reference to a person being unable to profit from their work. No, we didn't read anything about that. Next, an explanation of the potential savings a bike sharing scheme would bring. No, we didn't read about any savings here. A reference to the problems a bike sharing scheme was intended to solve. Wow. Reference to the problems it was intended to solve. Oh, I am interested in this option now. Why? Let's read again. Okay. They believed the scheme, which was known as this, was an answer, means solution, to the perceived threats, means dangers or problems of air pollution and consumerism. Wow. So this sentence carries our answer. Did you find it, guys? So, so, so this scheme was an answer means it was a solution. It was intended to solve these problems. Answer means solution and to the perceived threats means dangers or problems of air pollution. So this scheme is intended to solve the problems of air pollution and consumerism. Yes. So 18th one is perfectly matching with the paragraph A. So what is the answer for 18? A, clearly, right? So uh, look at this hint, guys. I have discussed many times about this hint in my previous videos. So if this note comes up, you may use any letter more than once, then what will happen? Any letter or any paragraph will repeat more than once, okay? So maybe A may repeat twice, B may repeat twice, C, D, anything may repeat twice. So we have to be careful, okay? Suppose if I am getting the answers like A, B, C, D, E. So nothing is repeating here, right? Then somewhere I have done mistake and some of the answer is wrong. Because when they give this type of instruction, 
definitely 100% some letter will repeat it can be like a a or b b c c somewhere somewhere one letter will repeat okay so be careful when this so he is giving you an hint indirectly this ielts people they are giving us a hint with this note okay so be careful let's read the paragraph b now lewd a dutch guys one more hint see this is skimmel panic okay but no need to read these lengthy words okay i i have just read lewd that's it enough no need to read uh, such complex words and uh, waste time okay we already have limited time lewd a dutch industrial engineer who still lives and cycles in amsterdam was heavily involved in the original scheme he recalls how the scheme succeeded in attracting a great deal of attention particularly when it came to publicizing provo's aims but struggled to get off the ground the people were opposed to provo's initiatives and almost as soon as the white bikes were distributed in the city they removed them however for skimmel panic and for bike sharing schemes in general this was just the beginning the first vite fitsen plan was just a symbolic thing he says we painted a few bikes white that was all things got more serious when i became a member of the amsterdam city council 2 years later okay okay did we read about any uh, thing like people misusing the bikes no so 14 cannot be the answer uh did we read why a bike scheme was turned down no there is nothing mentioned like that in this paragraph next reference to a person being unable to profit from their work no we didn't read about that explanation of potential savings okay this scheme would bring no he didn't talk about any savings this would bring right so let's move to the next paragraph okay skimmel sees this opportunity to present a more elaborate a vite plan to the city council okay my idea was that the municipality of amsterdam would distribute 10000 white bikes over the city for everyone to use i made serious calculations it turned out that a white bicycle per person per kilometer would cost the municipality only 10% of what it contributed to public transport per person per kilometer okay great Nevertheless the council unanimously rejected the plan wow they rejected it they said that the bicycle belongs to the past and saw a glorious future for the car wow so but he was not in the least discouraged oh great so he spoke about a lot of things in this passage right okay let's look at the options now Uh, did we uh, read about anything like people misusing this scheme no next an explanation of why a proposed scheme was turned down wow what do you mean by turned down rejected okay we just read about that right where is it here now there is the council unanimously rejected the plan means they turned it down why what was the reason bicycle is the past now future is car that was the reason okay so 15th one should be c clearly okay so they rejected his plan next one a reference to a person being unable to profit from their work no we didn't talk about any profits here next an explanation of the potential savings a uh, scheme would bring wow i think we just read about this also right potential savings the scheme would bring i'll tell you how is that see read this sentence i made serious calculations it turned out that white bicycle would cost the municipality only 10% of that of the public transport per person per kilometer okay so what it turned out so white bicycle cost only 10% that of the public transport so these are the potential savings he is talking about so if we can bring this scheme the uh, using of bicycles by most of the people then they can it would cost them only 10% what it is costing now so 90% they can save right so that's what he is talking about the potential savings means 90% they can save only 10% will be the cost 
so explanation of the potential savings yes it would bring so c again is our answer c guys so c is repeating twice here right so we have done justification for this note any letter more than once yes c is repeating more than once so this will definitely happen any letter may come more than once so this is a hint so we have to take advantage of this hint let's move to the next paragraph so paragraph d Kimmel Panic never stopped believing in bike sharing and in the mid 90s two Danes asked for his help to set up a system in Copenhagen. Okay, so this is one of the cities. The result was the world's first large scale bike share program. It worked on a deposit. You dropped a coin in the bike and you and when you returned it, you got your money back. After setting up the Danish system, he decided to try his luck again. In the Netherlands, and this time he succeeded in arousing the interest of the Dutch Ministry of Transport. Wow. Times had changed, he recalls. People had become more environmentally conscious and the Danish experiment had proved that bike sharing was a real possibility. A new Witte plan was launched in 1999 in Amsterdam. However, riding a white bike was no longer free. It cost one guilder per trip and payment was made with a chip card developed by the Dutch bank Postbank. He designed conspicuous, sturdy white bikes locked in special racks, which could be opened with the chip card. The plan started with 250 bikes distributed over five stations. Oh, great. So here he is talking about the progress of the bike sharing screen, right? So let's read the questions now. Okay, a description of how people misuse this scheme. No, we didn't read about people misusing this scheme. And then a reference to a person being unable to profit from their work. No, we did not read anything about that as well. So let's read the next paragraph, E now. Theo Molinar, who was a system designer for the project, worked alongside this guy. I remember when we were testing the bike racks, he announced that he had already designed better ones. But of course, we had to go through with the ones we had. Okay. The system, however, was prone to vandalism and theft. Oh, after every weekend, there would always be a couple of bikes missing. A couple of bikes missing. He says, the, I really have no idea what people did with them because they could instantly be recognized as white bikes. But the biggest blow came when Postbank decided to abolish the chip card because it wasn't profitable. Okay, it wasn't profitable. This chip card was pivotal to the system. He says, to continue the project, we would have needed to set up another system, but the business partner had lost interest. Oh, that's quite uh, disappointing, right? So let's read the questions now. A description of how people misuse the bike sharing scheme. Yes, of course, we read about misusing the scheme. What did we read, guys? Can you recall? So read this sentence. The system, however, was prone to vandalism and theft. Vandalism means damaging, deliberately, purposely damaging the property. Means people used to damage the bikes and theft. Okay. Theft we know. So after every weekend, there will always be a couple of bikes missing. So this is the misuse that they did. Okay. So paragraph E is talking about the misuse. So 14 should be E clearly, right? Yes, we got it. So 16th one, a reference to person being unable to make a profit. No, we didn't read about any profit making here from their work. So let's read the next part. Disappointed, but characteristically not for long. In 2002, he got a call from the French advertising corporation, JC Decox, who wanted to set up his bike sharing scheme in Vienna. Okay, this is another city. That went really well after Vienna. They set up a system in Lyon. Then in 2007, Paris followed. Decisive movement in the history of bike sharing, the huge and unexpected success of the Parisian bike sharing program, which now boats more than 20,000 bicycles, inspired cities all over the world 
to set up their own schemes, all modeled on schemal panics. It's wonderful that this happened, but financially I didn't really benefit from it because I never filed for a patent. Oh wow. I think we just got the answer for the last question guys. What do you think? So uh, what is this one? Reference to a person being unable to profit from their work. Oh, unable to profit. Wow, I loved it. So what is this reference to a person? Who's that person? This guy, Skimmel Panic. Okay, read the last one. Sentence. It's wonderful that this happened, but financially means, what does this mean? He didn't make a profit. He's talking in terms of money now. I didn't really benefit means profit from it because they never filed for a patent. This is the reason he never filed for a patent right. So he did not make any profit financially. I didn't really benefit from it means I didn't get any profit from my work because I never filed for a patent. Wow. This one is matching here. Okay. So 16th one should be F yes, clearly. Okay. Okay. So we have to pick two right options from five options. Okay, let's read the question. Which two of the following statements are made in the text about Amsterdam bike sharing scheme of 1999? Okay, so jump, let's jump to the passage of 1999 Amsterdam. So it is here in the D paragraph, right? A new plan was launched in 1999 in Amsterdam. However, riding a white bike was no longer free. It cost one guilder per trip and payment was made with a chip card developed by the Dutch bank, Post Bank. He designed corn species, means clear, sturdy white bikes locked in special racks, which could be opened with the chip card. The plan started with 50 bikes, each bit of five stations. Okay, great. Let's read the options now. It was initially opposed by a government department. No, it, it was not opposed. It was approved, right? How can I say that? See the first here. And this time he succeeded in arousing the interest of the Dutch Ministry of Transport. So this is the government department he's talking about. He succeeded means he was successful in arousing the interest means these people were interested in this bike sharing scheme, so they did not oppose, right? So option A is gone now. So option A cannot be the answer, right? Next, it failed when a partner in the scheme withdrew support. Oh, wow. I think we read about this somewhere, right? Where did we read? It's in the next paragraph. So this paragraph is also talking about the Amsterdam 1999 scheme, right? Okay, so let's read from here. I really have no idea what people did with them because this, okay. But the biggest blow came when Post Bank decided to abolish the chip card because it wasn't profitable. The chip card was pivotal to the system. To continue the project, we would have needed to set up another system, but the business partner had lost interest. Oh wow, this is where we read it. So their business partner, he lost support. He lost interest in this scheme and he withdrew the support. So what does this mean? It failed when a partner, oh, business partner in the scheme withdrew support. Yes, of course, this has happened. So B is one of the answer. Okay. So business partner, he was not interested anymore and he withdrew the support clearly. Next, it aimed to be more successful than the Copenhagen scheme. So uh, nowhere it is given. Okay, it has it aimed to be more successful or less successful. Right. So next one, it was made possible by a change in people's attitudes. Oh, wow. I think I have read about it somewhere. Right. Let's see the passage again. Guys, uh, look at the this sentence now. Times have changed. Times had changed. People had become more environmentally conscious and the Danish experiment had proven that bike sharing was a real possibility. So people's mindsets have changed now. Okay. Times had changed. People's have become more environmentally conscious means people's mindset has changed. People's attitudes have changed. That's what he's talking about. So D, it was made possible by a change in the people's attitudes. Yes, of course. 
people became more environmental cautious now okay they didn't want it to uh, waste any they didn't want it to cause any environmental damage to be specific right so it attracted interest from a range of bike designers now we didn't read anything about bike designers right so b and d are our answers for 19 and 20 and guys we can write it in any order like b d or d b both are right okay there is no specific order for these type of questions now so the next question is which two of the following statements are made in text about amsterdam today okay he is talking about today's amsterdam okay let's jump to the passage okay the last paragraph is talking about amsterdam today right in Amsterdam today, 38% of all trips are made by bike and along with Copenhagen. It is regarded as one of the two most cycle-friendly capitals in the world. But the city never got another Vite plan. Molinor believes this may be because everybody in Amsterdam already has a bike. So Skimmel Panic, however, cannot see that this changes Amsterdam's need for a bike chain bike sharing scheme people who travel on the underground don't carry their bikes around but often they need additional transport to reach their final destination although he thinks it is strange that a city like amsterdam does not have a successful bike sharing scheme he is optimistic about the future in the 60s we did in the 60s we didn't stand a chance because people were prepared to give their lives to keep cars in the city wow but that mentality has totally changed today everybody longs for cities that are not dominated by cars wow so we had a great passage here let's look at the options now okay the majority of residents would like to prevent all cars from entering the city we didn't read about anything like cars entering the city he only spoke about people they want to see cities without many cars okay so they cannot prevent all the cars all cars cannot be prevented right there is little likelihood of the city having another bike sharing scheme okay little likelihood of the city having another bike sharing scheme no there's no likelihood more trips in the city are made by bike than by any other form of transport no so he, he said that 38% are using the bikes, but it doesn't mean that maybe 50% they are using public transport or 50% they are using their private cars. So we cannot be sure about the C option, right? So this cannot be the answer. Next, a bike sharing, a bike sharing scheme would benefit residents who use the public transport. Oh, wow. Would benefit the residents who use the public transport. I think we read about this, right? where did we read it so concentrate on this sentence guys people who travel on the underground means public transport this can be underground metros right so those are the public transport right don't carry their bikes around but often they need additional transport to reach their final destination okay so this can benefit in this way so people they want to move from a to b okay from point a to point b if they want to move so from their home, they have to come to point A and from A to B, they will go and from B to again, they have to go to their office, right? So when they carry these bikes, it will be helpful for them to reach their final destination is their office, suppose. So from when they can travel by metro from A to B, from again B to their office, they can use these bikes. So it will be useful for them. That's what he's talking about. They need additional transport to reach their final destination. Although he thinks it is a strange that a city like Amsterdam does not have a successful bike sharing scheme. Okay, he's optimistic about the future. Means in future, uh, there will be more bike sharing schemes. That's what he's optimistic means. He's positive. Okay. So in my opinion, D should be one of the options. Okay, next. The city has a reputation as a place that welcomes cyclists. Wow. Let's see this. Where did we read this? See, it is regarded, means Amsterdam, it is regarded as one of the two most cycle friendly capitals in the world. So, of course, it welcomes the cyclists. So, it is that one of the two most cycle friendly capitals. Hence, E should be one of the answers. And see, but the city never got another Vitae plan. 
So city never got another plan. So there is little likelihood of city having another plan? No, there is no likelihood. Okay. So B is gone. E is right answer. Okay. So D and E are our answers now. We can write D E or E D in the answer sheet. Both are right. Okay. So let's move to the next set of questions now. First urban bike sharing scheme and the instructions are one word only. So we have to use only one word guys. Okay. Right. The first bike sharing scheme was the idea of a Dutch group Provo. The people who belonged to this group were Dash. Okay. I think we read about this in the very first passage, right? Okay. Provo, the organization that came up with the idea was a group of Dutch activists who wanted to change the society. They were Dutch activists. So activists should be our answer, right? Who were they? The people who belong to this group were activists, right? So activists should be our answer. Next, they were concerned about damage to the environment and about dash. Wow. So damage to environment and something dash. So they believed the scheme was the answer to perceived threats of the air pollution. Air pollution means damage to the environment and about consumerism wow so this is our answer consumerism air pollution means damage to the environment right so what is the answer here and about consumerism okay and believe that bike sharing scheme would draw attention to these issues as well as painting some bikes white, they handed out dash that condemned the use of cars. Condemned means opposed the use of cars. They handed out means they distributed something. In the center of Amsterdam, they painted a small number of used bikes bike. They also distributed leaflets describing the dangers of cars. Distributed means handed out, right? What did they hand out? Leaflets. So this is the word we are looking for. So the answer is leaflet, okay, leaflets. Next, however, the scheme was not a great success. Almost as quickly as Provo left the bikes around the city, the dash took them away. So someone took these bikes away. Who are they? About it in the next paragraph. See this sentence. The police were opposed to the Provo's initiative and almost as soon as the white bikes were distributed in the city, they removed them. Wow, so who took them away? The police, right? The police took them away as soon as they left it. They distributed down the city, they removed them. Okay, so police opposed it. So as quickly as Pro left the bikes around the city, the police took them away. Okay, so the, these are the answers now. So this is the end of today's session, guys. I am sure that if you can follow my tips and tricks, you will be able to score more than 8 bands in the IELTS reading module. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. These videos are extremely helpful for IELTS aspirants. Until next time, goodbye, have a great day.